Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Since the beginning of this unprovoked uh, military, uh, Russian military aggression against the uh, victim country Ukraine, uh, who's alone uh, fighting this imperialistic power, okay? Did I do it right? Good. Now YouTube allows me to uh, say a few things. Uh, the Ukrainians were talking about, uh, you know, getting Crimea back to uh, Ukraine. So that's what Ukrainians were saying. Well, we needed to get it back. Okay. Uh, from time to time. What I observed is that lately, that is, uh, I think in the past week or so, this calls, I mean, you know, correlated with uh, the so-called counteroffensive. They started talking about liberating uh, Crimea and taking it back and all that. And Crimea is already ours without even uh, taking it and all that. So um, how will they take it back? Well, uh, slowly. They say, well, this counteroffensive, we're going to do it. And this counteroffensive is not going to be the last one. Uh, sometimes you hear it is, sometimes you hear it's not. Doesn't matter what's going on here. The Ukrainians say that they will have to cut off Russian supply routes to the Crimean Peninsula. I have an article and I have a map. The article will talk about uh, the Ukrainians' uh, dreams and aspirations, and the other one will show what uh, on the map how those aspirations and dreams should come into fruition. So let's go first to this article coming from Ukrainska Pravda. Please uh, look at the hint here, okay? Russia must be cut off from Crimea, Ukraine's defense intelligence. So this is Ukrainska Pravda, Ukrainian state uh, media outlet. It says Russia must be cut off from Crimea. And they picture the Kirsch Bridge. So do you got, did you get the hint? I mean, you can't be a tard not to figure out what they mean by cu being cut off, unless you really want to ignore it. I mean, they could have picked, I don't know, a bear or a beautiful flower or something, but no, they put the Kirsch Bridge and this title. So it's clear their goal is to blow this thing up again, or maybe better than they did it last time. Beautiful piece of bridge, anyway. Uh, engineers and workers and everybody else, great minds. May 2nd, 2023. Andriy Cherniak, Cherniak. A representative of Ukraine's defense intelligence believes, I don't like the word believes because belief is not based on facts, <laughs> mostly, you know what I mean? That Russia should be cut off from Crimea so that it can finally make a quote unquote goodwill gesture regarding the peninsula, which is giving it back because they can't defend it. He said in a comment uh, to the Army Inform outlet, and I'm quoting, of course. The enemy needs to be cut off from Crimea. We have to make sure that Russia cannot use the temporarily occupied peninsula for military purposes and ultimately will make the so-called Crimean goodwill gesture, surrender of the peninsula. Achieving this goal may indeed be the key to a fair peace. Ah, no. <laughs> it's not going to be a key. It's going to be the beginning because you can't let only that be in the Russians' hands. Anyway. Uh, Cher Cherniak has said that Ukraine does not stop taking appropriate measures as evidenced in particular by the recent events on the peninsula. And I'm quoting, kilometer long traffic jams on the illegally built bridge from Kirsch to Russia are the right reaction. The defense intelligence of Ukraine strongly recommends leaving occupied Crimea, while this opinion uh, um, or this option is still available. Ukraine is coming back and will come back to Crimea. Well, there's two options and uh, I don't know. We'll see. The phase, the phrase goodwill gesture became popular after, popular after Russia surrendered a Snake Island in 2022, uh, June 2022. I think that was a weasel move uh, and the goodwill gesture was also a weasel move. At the time, the Russian authorities stated that they have, and I'm quoting, completed their task on the island of what? Giving it back to those guys and withdrawn the garrison that was deployed there supposedly as a goodwill gesture after I think some of their uh, military uh, uh, batteries or whatever they were over there were blown up by the Ukrainians. So they say, you know, screw it, we don't need it. So now let's see where the Crimean Peninsula is and how this will play strategically into the Ukrainians' goals. So right here, obviously, this is, this is um, Crimea. 
and this is where uh, the Russians are, right? This is all in Russia. This is part of Russia, and they want all that back, back. They want that to the Russians to come back, and I think Kherson as well. I don't know if they still want it or not. Now the problem is here. The Ukrainians said that they have to cut the Russians off here in Zaporozhye, Zaporozhye Oblast, which is right here. So they say if we cut them off right here, the Russians will not be able to come here. The problem is the Russians will be able to come here through the Kirsch Bridge, which is right here between the Sea of Azov and the Black Sea. So here is Kirsch. This is the bridge right here somewhere in this area. I see him right here. Here is the bridge. They want to blow this up and uh, somehow the Russians cannot supply their forces here when or if the Ukrainians start a counteroffensive here. So they probably do it in two ways, I'm uh, assuming. One, they will probably want to destroy this one in the same time with cutting the Russians off here, right here. So, so they can't come here anymore. So they probably try to block them here or you know, here somewhere. And then maybe it's a water body of water here because that's why you try to do it. I don't see any, I'm not familiar with uh, maybe here. You do it. This looks like a body of water here and another, it seems like they are, but this is the one, how long it, how long it goes. Oh, here goes like this. So I don't know, maybe they can cut from here and uh, have the body of water here as a protection. You know, that's the easiest way to, to uh, uh, defend right here. So maybe they cut it right here by Melitopol. Maybe not through Melitopol. I'm going to go here, but I don't know. This is the body of water. I will use this, I would say. And then, at the same time, blowing up this one and keeping this blown up. Otherwise, uh, what other things? You're not going to come with anything from here. You don't have anything. So the point is, they will try to... Um, blow up the Kirsch bridge uh, the hint is clear over there now it's true that it is true that sometimes you try to hey i'm gonna punch you there smack you know but um uh, i think that's a necessity to blow up that bridge and i think the ukrainians will do it and they can do it well the russians again some articles state that uh, the russians are beefing up their defense uh uh, systems over there by the Kirsch Bridge for exact that reason. It's kind of quite a long distance from um, from um, Ukraine to that Kirsch Bridge uh, to bring you know uh, drones and water drones, but they, I think they can do it. You know, I mean they came to Sevastopol, so that's halfway I will guess. Not guess, it looks like. And the same, they hit right here on this. But they hit the Kirsch Bridge and they hit here. It was a bombardment a while ago here somewhere. I can't remember the name of the town, but it was right here in this area because I know I calculated. I said, well, I think it was uh, Feodosia, I think. Yeah, that not I think I know now. So Feodosia right here was struck by the Ukrainians. So if they were able to hit here from here, I don't see any reason not to hit from here, here, especially now as supposedly the Ukrainians uh, received. Uh, and we'll receive more uh, systems with a longer range. The Brits are buying for them uh, long-range missile systems capable of hitting targets between 100 kilometers to 300 kilometers. If you look over the map, I think that would do it from here to here could be about 300 kilometers so they can definitely do it i don't know if this legend will tell us distance no it doesn't but i know i did this before in a uh, other video and i calculated it from here the whatever the name of the town was it i forgot about it the one that i mentioned here uh until here is about uh no it was right here actually when they hit these things on here and it's about what 300 400 kilometers so yeah they will be able to do it i uh, the problem is how well will the Russians be able to defend it? Because, you know, you can send a lot of, uh, you can overwhelm a battery by sending more missiles or more little uh, things that will just make you shoot and then you run out of ammunition. But ammunition, or you send something that these systems cannot see. We'll find out. Thank you very much for being with me again today. They will blow that bridge again, uh, or at least they will try. I would give them success uh, chances 80%. Sorry, they did it once and uh, they did it with that, supposedly with that truck. 
I think they can do it with uh, other means as well. If the Americans and the Brits will calculate uh, and plan it right, uh, the Ukrainians will push the button. Uh, where do I push? Oh, no, not there. Oh, right there, right here. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, we did it. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how it happens. Our weapons, our command, our planners. You just push the button. What, what do I push? Here? No, 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 not the red one, not the blue one. No, no, the green. Uh, what's green? This is green? Yeah. Uh, we did it, man. Give me five. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.